Um, hello, my name is Matthew, and I tried something a little bit different this time. Uh, I gave myself a head start and spent about an hour painting this banana, and I wanted to get it to a point where I can show you um, finishing touches. So right now the banana, banana looks pretty good. I have the, the shape and a lot of the tone in and the um, color variations. Um, I worked on the background a lot so I didn't have to spend a lot of time um, doing that on camera. And I'll show you, uh, let's see, there's my, there's my banana. And I'm just gonna start working on it and um, just kind of do a few things that will um, really make it pop and be closer to realistic. So we'll just get to it. And the main things that I'm looking at at this point are going to be um, highlights and shadows and then um, details. So the, the, the banana has some, you might have noticed, um, it already has some of those little brown spots. And so I might try to get some of those details in. I just want to get a couple highlights. Hopefully they'll come off on the camera. Little, at this point, really small details will make a really big difference. These are the kind of things that take an average painting to a much more successful painting. I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping to do that on camera. Uh, let's see, get a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. It's really dark. Can I use a really dark green anywhere? Maybe over here I'll try to let's see. Something like that. And you can see it still has kind of like green splotches. And I want to get some of those in there. It'll help <clears throat> uh, it'll help make the banana come to life, if you know what I mean. So, things like that, where it's actually kind of subtle, but all of these small little things add up. Okay. Decided to use a, a round brush right at the last moment. Actually, I don't really like using round brushes. This is a round brush. Uh, but yeah, we get color variation. It'll make it go from being any old banana, any old generic banana, to a very unique individual banana. And we're going to go with some of those brown spots. And I'm going to use some orange. Uh, actually, I want to lighten up the whole thing a little bit before I do that. you see how much of a difference that makes? These paints are translucent. So every time, every time I put another layer, <clears throat> the 
all the whole painting gets a little bit richer. And right now the key is subtlety. If we go with any really big bold colors it'll just stick out way too much and we don't want that. And they're kind of like little dots. I'm just gonna put in little dots. And even at the moment, it might make it look a little spotty, but we can smooth things out and make corrections if we need them. All these little things make a big difference. And I'll go back. And now we can even put in <clears throat> a couple bright yellow spots. So we'll have uh, variations. And all of these little splotches, the idea is that they'll all kind of all fit together in a big puzzle piece. And then when we have these details, we have to correct, we have to tonally correct to, to make sure that all of the light makes sense. in order to have it be an object. I also have to keep keep reminding keep reminding myself to try to talk while I'm doing this. I always forget. <laughs> uh, and we actually want this to be pretty light. And we don't even have to worry. It can it can get really close to the same color as the background. What that'll do really give the impression of light hitting it. I don't know if that comes off see that. See, these little things make a big difference. I'm actually making it look more like a bruised up banana, but it's the banana I'm looking at. <clears throat> okay. Actually, I want to put in even a couple, a couple really dark spots. Let's see.
might want to get a little bit more green. If I can get maybe a really nice, rich green color. Let's see. Okay, that's way too, way too rich. <laughs> okay. Let's see about that. And get some yellow in there. This we can put right at the tip. Like that uh, here, that Maybe down here. And at this point, we're, we're still well within the realm of spending a lot, a lot of time. <clears throat> we can still spend hours perfecting this banana. actually made a little bit of a mistake slipped up see that uh, the yellow hit into the shadow and, and we corrected it okay. I do want to finish it up to before, before I make this banana all the way green. A couple things. Alright, what did I just use? I love that color. smooth it out a little bit just to get everything working together um, I don't call it I think I, I, I don't know if I can if I made that uh, clear enough but all these little details just made it make it a little extra um, it's always worth spending that extra time and um, if anybody's interested, the banana is for sale. Um, I'll put I'll put a small signature on it. Uh, let's see. Okay, just like that. Uh, so if you're interested in buying the banana, I'll leave my email and you can uh, send me a message. But here we go, uh, a more finished looking painting, uh, and it's a painting of a banana. Um, I hope that was enjoyable. Anyway, I hope it was enjoyable. Leave a comment if you would like, and thank you for watching.